What's up, garden friends? Real quick snippet here. So someone said to me recently, real gardeners do hedges. So I was like, I was taking it literal. I was like, what do you mean real gardeners do hedges? Any kind of hedge. So I'm here to say that hedging ain't easy. All right, so I'm gonna turn this camera around and show y'all what I'm working on. So over here in the sun border, I've been working on this hedge for the last three and a half, probably four years. <laughs> and here's the aftermath. So let's kind of, so let's check everything out from this vantage point. Here's the end of the hedge right near the vegetable garden. And even though that border itself isn't exactly straight, we're judging the hedge, guys. Uh, and I gotta say, it's not bad. <laughs> but it's not great either. So a lot of these boxwoods I've had on various videos showing treatment for white fly as you can see in there um, look at that so these hedges have been through enough and here I am three to four years after planting them I'm finally trying to um, to hedge them so this right here is a green mountain boxwood and it is a little bit lopsided I tried to prune it into a proper cone shape, so it's going to take another year or two to fully fill in. Yeah. But uh, the rest of the hedge doesn't look too bad. So I've, uh, I started off by trimming the top. All right, I start off by trimming the top of the boxwood and then, then I start trimming the front side. Now the back side is where it gets tricky because they're up against perennials and shrubs and stuff. So excuse that manic lawnmower uh that guy he he is very obsessive about mowing his lawn he mows it like two times a day it's it's insane i think he needs to get another hobby all right well let me not knock that guy who likes to mow his lawn but yeah so this is where we are and my next step is to oh god these two right here look really scary so my next step is to carefully prune the interior. And I'm so afraid to do so because I think I'm not gonna have a hedge left. All right, guys, well, it didn't turn out too bad, right? I mean, you guys saw that last bit or that last stretch where I was practically scissoring the inside of the hedge, hoping that I got it straight enough. Um, so let's turn this camera around and just kind of inspect, um, you know, what we got here. All right, so further inspection. Um, 
you know, little pieces like this that stick out, I just take my pruners. And do something like that. Um, this whole chunk right here needs to actually go down. See, this hedge, it's been gone so long that the habit of the boxwoods, they start to splay outward. Um, I think these boxwood are winter green and they get pretty big. These can get about four to five feet uh, tall and wide. And so that's why that habit was kind of outward splaying. Um, so I have a lot of floppy branches, which I need to go in closer inspection and just kind of nip with the pruners. Like this piece right here. Four pieces. Woo. Yeah. But what I like though is, um, let's back this up a bit. What I do like is that the boxwoods are starting to touch. See right here between these two, they're pretty much intermingling. As are these two right here. All right. So what I find with these boxwood, especially in the mid-Atlantic, um, where I'm in Maryland zone 7B, uh, they're very temperamental. Uh, the weather here pretty much dictates that. The summers can be pretty hot, um, excess of, you know, the 90s and low triple digits uh, at some point. But um, we have very variable weather. You know, it's generally a humid climate. Um, you know, we get a decent amount of rainfall throughout the year but we do have those long bouts of uh, drought, I can say, you know, where we don't get any rain. And that's where we have spider mites and um, white fly and, you know, certain fungal diseases can start, uh, you know, attacking your boxwood. So what I'll do throughout the season is um, get these hedges on a regimen of light trimming or light pruning um, I'll fertilize them often, uh, probably every month I'll fertilize them using a general plant tone um, and keep them well watered. All right. And towards the end of the season, I'll give you guys an update on all my boxwood. Um, I happen to have two groups of boxwood in the front, uh, in the front entryway that um, they experience all day sun. So they have morning sun from the east. Then they have the afternoon sun, then they have the southwest sun from the west. And so they get hit pretty hard. So I really have to stay on top of those. And also they're in containers. So uh, I really have to stay on top of those. But I'll keep you guys posted and um, I'll let you guys see, you know, how these boxwoods uh, turn out, the, all the hedges. Uh, this is new to me and they have been in, I want to say probably the last three to four years. And this is when I'm actually uh, giving them a decent prune. So, all right, guys, thanks for following along. Go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't and uh, hit like and I'll see you in the next video.